Okay, so my mom and I are gonna go and run some errands. So I'm gonna do a real basic bitch makeup look today, AKA what I always do. What do I want to put on my face today? I got myself down on the floor. I like seriously hope I can get back up. I It's not the most comfortable position, but I'm gonna make it work. All right, so I have my NARS Creamy Concealer. You know what, I need my mirror. I also <laughs> totally have my window open right now. It's like 13 degrees out, but you know, my black eyes are nasty today. Um, my camera, if I didn't open my window and kind of set it on the ledge there, like would have been super, super close to my face. <laughs> so I'm like freezing right now, but it's all good. Oh yes, and my turban headband. Um, I love these things. I probably started using them like a year ago. And basically what I do is I get out of the shower and then I put in my leave-in. And then I let my hair sit in this for like half an hour. And then when I actually go to like brush it out, it's so like manageable. It's amazing. This is just my L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation, which I'm obsessed with. Totally forgot my beauty blender in Seattle, but it's all good. I don't need to buy another one. I'll just wait till I'm back. Hopefully this matches. I'm like a little bit pale right now. This is kind of one of those foundations where even if I'm wearing my foundation or even if I'm pale as can be, like this still matches pretty well. I don't know. like barely put anything on just foundation bronzer a little eyeliner didn't even do my brows and a little under eye mascara with some eyeshadow so now I need to go and brush this mop out don't worry I don't always sit down like a lazy bitch and brush my hair out but I can't stand in front of the mirror with my cast and balance and brush my hair out so this is what's going on right now so I'm pretty convinced that switching to some of the living proof products that I've been using has like changed my hair for the better like my hair is so manageable and it's like super soft I mean for having bleach in my hair my hair is like pretty damn healthy I'm definitely going to talk about it in my favorites video. Actually, you know what? I should probably do... I was, like, looking at all my old privatized videos, and I was like, you know, what... What are some of these videos that I can, like, remake again? And I need to do an updated hair care routine. God. Is there anything more annoying than brushing your hair out? So I'm 
gonna use this. It's been in my bathroom at my parents' house. It's the Redken Fashion Waves Texturizing Spray, and I don't feel like straightening my hair or curling it today. And I'm probably just gonna wear a hat because it's so damn cold out. So I'm just gonna put some of this in my hair. I haven't used this in a while, so I, I think I liked it. I just have so many texturizing sprays. It's like, if I'm not currently using it, I forget about it. Got a little like shaker in it. All right, I'm gonna let my hair dry and then I'll put some more in. I look like a hot mess, but I just got my lashes done. They look so good. I got 15s again and I love them. It's just like such a nice pick me up when you are laid up just to like be able to get your lashes done. And what else am I doing today? A whole lot of nothing really. Um, so the usual. So I really wanted to post this vlog like a couple days ago, but when I use my iMovie and mix like iPhone clips with clips from my actual camera, it like screws up and gets all off. Like my last vlog I did that and I had to export it so many times and cut so many iPhone clips out. So I don't know. It's just like so frustrating. So I had my vlog like finished the other day and then I was like, okay, none of these clips are lining up. So now I have to delete all of this stuff. So what did I say in those clips? Um, my ring light came. So I'm super excited to set that up and use it. And I went to the doctors on is it Tuesday or Wednesday and they were unable to put a cast on me because I have like this like fluid blister on the inside of my um, foot and they didn't want to pop it to like introduce infection so they're like come back in a week and so I they put me in like one of those um, cam walking boots which are so heavy and annoying like I would rather have a cast yeah I'm gonna go back next Thursday and they're gonna see if they can cast me I like took my wrap off today just to look at it and it's like still there but it's so thin I just want to like pop it that's like the nurse in me. I just want to like pop it and I know that sounds disgusting, but that's what I want to do. My dad had his knee surgery. It went well. Oh my God. So after you have knee surgery, like you have home health comes to check on you for like the first two weeks and then also physical therapy comes to the home for the first two weeks. And first of all, my dad got out of the hospital in one and a half days and usually it's a two night stay in the hospital so he already had that like stroking his ego and then all these home health care nurses are like telling him he's doing so good and I'm just like oh my god like stroke his ego a little bit more please the other funny thing is he came home on like a blood thinner shot which obviously because he's not like that mobile after surgery and he did not learn how to do it. He told the nurses that he had a nurse at home to do it, AKA me. So now I'm the patient helping the patients. <laughs> but he only had it for five days, so tomorrow is his last shot, whatever. It was so funny too, because um, the orthopedic surgeon that did his surgery, he is like, kind of like a family friend at this point because we've known him for so many years and he like came to the surgical waiting room to uh, talk to my mom and I after my dad's surgery and he was like, Oh, he goes, yeah, your dad's surgery went beautiful. He was such a sweetheart during surgery. And I'm like, yeah, that's because my dad was sedated. I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day um, maybe doing a little reading. I did order two books. So if you guys have any more good books that I can read, I'm really into like, like psychological thrillers, like Girl on the Train-esque. Um, I ordered Pillbillies, which is a quick read. It's like all about addiction, which, I don't have anybody in my family who deals with addiction, but oftentimes I have like patients whose families are dealing with addiction or like heroin or math or whatever it is. So um, yeah, it's kind of, it's an interesting book. It's like the internal struggles of an addict. And then I also got Girl in Cabin 10 and it's like, I haven't read it yet, but apparently it's Girl on the Train, like psychological thriller-esque. So, Yes, any good books you've read, 
hit me up. Let me know what they are.